Really appreciate all the love I got on my last video. I know this is a smaller channel, so I appreciate all the thumbs up. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So today we're talking about my uh, tire carrier that I just put on. It's already installed. This isn't an unboxing or anything like that, but there's a lot of, I love this tire carrier, by the way. This tire carrier is awesome. So many pros to this tire carrier. So I'm gonna be going over the pros and the cons of the Rugged Ridge tire carrier that I got. And you guys probably heard of that company if you guys have a Jeep. Um, and they're just an awesome company. All their products have amazing reviews. So this is the tire carrier. Now, the reason that I went with one that was built into the tailgate here and not one that was built into the bumper uh, was kind of by accident. So this company, EAG, be careful with this company. Um, they sent me the wrong bumper for my last build. So I had this one laying around and they were giving me a hard time about returning it and all this BS. But anyway, this fits a JL model, which is the newer models. It's this model. And I uh, just decided to throw it on there. You know, I might as well. So therefore, I didn't really need a, another bumper with a tire carrier on it. So that's why I went with the one that was built in to the tailgate. And now that I got it on here, I really like um, that it's built into this because it's um, I'm always in here, you know, with remodeling my house and grocery store. And I literally open this thing a million times a day and it's so easy. It's so much easier to just grab it and uh, not have to do the double step that you would do with uh, having it built into the bumper. So that's a huge, huge pro for me. Now the installation on this was surprisingly really easy. I was worried because I was, uh, I was looking up, you know, tire carriers and all this stuff. I was doing a little bit of research and I had to take out some of the paneling. I had to take out like this panel and this and this, and there was just a bunch of stuff that I needed to do. So I was a little bit worried about it, but there is a step-by-step -step video that explains everything um, super easy and I never had you know m most of the time when you do a project there's always one little thing that pisses you off and surprisingly that didn't happen this time so as you guys can see I have a um, 37 inch tire on on here and my last build I had a 35 inch tire and I didn't even uh, put on the tire carrier. What I did with the 35 was I just threw it up there stock and it was perfectly fine. You know, there was like a little bit of rattling, but that's really all that it was. So if you guys want to save a little money and if you guys have a 35, um, it may be fine just to throw it up there stock. I see all these videos talking about it's not going to hold up and it's, you know, the, the, the stock one is, you know, the welds aren't going to hold up, but there's, there's not any welds. It's all bolted on there. Um, and I had a 20 inch rim on my last build. So it was super heavy and it held up. So you guys might not need a tire carrier if you guys have a 35, um, but it is recommended to get a tire carrier. Now this is a 37, so I thought I wouldn't take the risk on, you know, an expensive vehicle like this. And it really isn't too much money. So it was, uh, it definitely paid off. So this looks super clean if you want to get a, get over here. I don't really like the look of the, uh, the uh, license plate right there. I have to do something with this license plate because I'm pretty sure this is not legal. Um, you can't really see my license plate uh, from the back. So I'm pretty sure that's not legal. I'm gonna end up getting a kit and putting it right there. Oh, and yeah, another cool thing about this one is you can adjust the angle to any angle that you want. You know, I thought this angle was pretty unique and cool. So I have it pointed all the way up. But you get but you guys can take it a little bit angled or you guys can just have it, you know, flush up and down, um, which brings me to my first con. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a con with any tire carrier. Maybe the ones that are built into the bumper will have the tire a bit lower. Um, and I have a 37, so this is probably going to happen regardless but it is really hard to see out the back. Um, it might've been just a big shock to me because I've been riding around without any spare tire for a few months now. So um, when I was you know, on the highway, I was like, holy shit, I can't even see out the back very good at all. Um, I'm not really a safety first type of guy. I would sacrifice a little bit of safety for some badassness. So I think it turned out really, really good. Oh, and one other thing that I wanna mention about the install. So this is all bolt on there's no drilling into the doors i've seen a few tire carriers that you actually have to drill into your 
your uh, back door right here. So there's no drilling, no nothing. The install's super easy. Um, the Rugged Ridge has amazing reviews with this, so seems like nobody has problems. So if you guys are gonna get a tire carrier, definitely uh, check this one out. So I'll have a link to the exact tire carrier in the description below if you guys wanna check that out. And also check out my video of my last build if you guys really want to see some, uh, some tips on how you guys can save some money on your Jeep builds. All right, my black Jeep, uh, you know, I, I try to do budget builds. Whenever I'm uh, modding out a Jeep, I try to make it as badass as possible in the, you know, the least amount of money as possible. You know, for this build, I went pretty big with the 37s and the, you know, the four inch lift and stuff. Um, it's just something that I was encouraged to do by you guys. You know, you guys love what I did with the black one, so I figured I'd go super hard with this one. So, hope you guys like this video. If you got anything out of it, give it a thumbs up and check out those other videos on my other Jeeps. So, the black Jeep videos are freaking really good. A lot of people give me awesome feedback with them, and I'm beginning to ramble. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.